Hello everyone. Welcome to my Unreal Engine tutorial series on how to create an open world game. So last time we implemented our directional glass wind system up to some level that uh, now as you can see in this screen we can have some kind of a wave which goes through our grass field but it goes only on to one direction it's uh, as you can see here it goes from right to left and today I'm going to show you uh, we are going to experiment a way to change the direction of this wave so okay so let's get started first I will open my grass material which is uh, this M leaves master so this is the this is the uh, material that I have been used for all of these uh, leaves if you are not sure about this how did we came up with these materials you can refer to my previous videos alright so here is my grass material in the current stage and so before we make any changes here let's go to our experiment material this one and let's open this material and try to figure out a way to change the direction okay so first thing is I am going to define some parameter to represent wind direction so here I'll actually I could create a vector parameter or two, uh, two float scalar parameters but if I create a vector parameter like this and let's see okay we can do it so let's create a vector parameter and I'll name this uh, wind direction right and first I'll get a reference to that parameter I just created Here. and now instead of taking this uh, single uh, taking this as a single line I'm gonna break this into component float components like this because I need to have some kind of a uh, need to access the X and Y component of this uh, world position matrix world position position vector in order to change the direction uh, of these lines so right so here I'll break this one as well like this and I'll multiply this R value or it may be the X value with this R value and this G value with the G value of this one and then 
I'll add these two together. Right, and I'll feed it here. Okay, I'll apply this and let's see. We should have some kind of a different behavior. Okay, uh, now let's try changing our parameter values. So instead of 5, I'll put 0.6. Okay, and instead of point one, also all ah, right. I think it's working. So yeah, with this variable g variable, I can change the direction of these waves, and with this r value, I can change the width of the right. So. Yeah, now we have a mechanism to define the direction of the wind like this. Cool. Now I'll implement this same mechanism into my leaf material here. So, so I'll put this one here and we don't need this part actually I'll delete this one and plug this one here instead Okay, I'll make it a little organized. Right, now I apply. And wait till the shaders are compiled. It's still compiling. Okay, shaders are compiled now. And I think uh, I have to increase the wave speed because the wave is too slow to see the difference. So I'll open my grass material now actually I do the change here it would be easier it would be global and so the clay change would be visible 100 and apply also I'll increase the wave width as well something like 300 right yeah but uh, still the wave speed I can see the wave here but it is still too slow so that means I have overridden these parameters uh, this one this one so I'll open my gross material where is it let me quickly find out okay I think it should be this one and this one yeah so actually it is quite high so what's wrong
okay let's increase this to thousand right now got now we got this fast uh, wave here okay now it's uh, clearly visible and uh, let's try changing the direction with these parameters we just cre created before this is the wind direction I'll make it zero okay if I make this one also zero okay I can't see any wind there alright I'll set this to one I'll set this to point five and I'll set this one to point five okay so now we got this change in direction and it still does not uh, look like a realistic wind wave so but uh, for this episode that's all I'm going to do and in the next episode I let's add some noise so that this the instead of these uh, clear lines there would be some kind of uh, like sine waves so that uh, the lines wouldn't be obvious and it I think I act I hope it would look more natural and also other than this color change let's implement uh, actual world position offsets to our grass measures okay see you in the next video goodbye